Okay, first off, forgive the stupid headgear. Something's up with my laptop's microphone, and if you haven't noticed in my last few videos, they've been kind of quiet, and I've had to turn the music way down, and I don't like that. So I'm using my friend Corey's headset, and I look pretty stupid right now. Anyway, uh, this is a contest entry for Last A Lot, and uh, I can't hear myself. I'll just talk into the mic like this. Oh, this is really awkward. Okay. Anyway, uh, I saw a lot of people entering this contest, and I thought it was a really cool idea. Your favorite horror films from the year you were born. But I wasn't subscribed to him, so I refrained from entering. But he uh, came by my contest and said, uh, you know, I just now, I'm just now looking at your videos, but I'm very interested in entering. Is that all right? And I said, sure. And then he said, well, you should check out the contest on my page. So I'm guessing it's cool. We're both allowing each other to enter each other's contest. Anyway, uh, 1991. Hmm. Not a very good year for horror movies, uh, but these are the ones that I really like. First off, it's arguable whether or not it's a horror movie, but I gotta go with Silence of the Lambs. I mean, Hannibal Lecter is definitely a horror icon, so how are you gonna have a horror icon without a horror movie? Uh, my next one is Wes Craven's People Under the Stairs. I don't own a copy of it, but I really dig it. I was thinking I had a Wes Craven set, but now, as it turns out, that's a John Carpenter set that I bought at Best Buy. Still pretty cool. This thing's making me nervous. Yeah. Anyway, my last one is Freddy's Dead. Like I mentioned in my uh, last 30-day challenge, I can watch all the original Nightmare on Elm Streets. I love every single one of them. So yeah, that's 1991. My favorite horror movies from that year. This is Private 88 to the end.